Hi everybody, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting and today we're here in my backyard where I'm going to plant a garden. So this is going to be a straw bale garden with, I should say, straw bale walls and uh, some stakes to hold them in place and dirt behind it. So this is the setup and I'm going to show you everything that I'm doing here to set this up with straw bales. I have the dirt, I have stakes. I'm also going to have some taller stakes that I'm eventually going to add fishing line to to keep the deer out. But I, I'm going to do some of uh, layering in, in there and everything. So I just want you to see what I'm doing. Now I'm not using a lot of my compost because I just don't have enough. Uh, I only have a 55 gallon tote that's nowhere near enough for this, so I had to buy a mixture of soil and also co a compost material. It's called Leaf Grow here in Maryland, and that's a uh, leaf compost that they have here. So that's what I'm going to add behind the straw bales to kind of even out the soil. As you can see, there's quite an angle here, as you can see. So I'm going to try to level that out. So let me take you through it. I'm going to go through this really quick, and I'll talk over it as I do a time lapse of this. All right, so here I am laying out the hay bales. And, you know, I'm trying to make a semicircle, and originally I had planned to get all the way back to the house, but it was one or two short, but, you know, that's what it is when you're doing this. You know, I, that's the max I could fit in my car, unfortunately. So I'll have to pick up another one or two later, but it's okay because of the slant of the hill, you know, I'm not too worried about, you know, dirt on the top part because I'm not building a f true raised bed. You know, I'm really just... Uh, building up this area where it's going to have dirt on one side and it's going to kind of smooth out the area and then I'm going to be able to, to bring it out later. So what I'm doing here is I am hitting in some stakes to hold in these bales because when you add dirt behind it they're going to want to push forward and roll over. And these bales they are you know about 40 to 50 inches wide and about 16 inches tall and 14 inches um, front to back there. So you know, there's a lot of weight that's going to possibly be behind them, and I don't want them to fall over. I then have this large stake right there. Um, I'm actually going to add in more large stakes later, and I'm going to put mesh around this to prevent deer from getting in, or a uh, probably a fishing line, really, instead of a mesh. But, you know, the idea is to try to keep the deer out, and, you know, these stakes will hold in those bales, and that way any dirt or anything pushing against them won't fall over. Now, what I'm starting to do is I wanted to make sure that the grass here would not just grow through and have just a grassy field. That's not the purpose of this. So I'm putting down cardboard all over the place to try to prevent that and prevent the grass from growing up, but also to give something that'll break down, a carbon source that'll break down into the soil. I think my soil is like 100% clay and there's very little carbon left in it. And thankfully I have a ton of the bottom parts of pizza boxes because I don't always put those in my bins because they are a little bit more difficult to work with. Now, this is the uh, soil conditioner I use. This is called Leaf Grow, and these are in plastic bags. I didn't really want to use plastic bags, but it's the only way I could get a large source of this material uh, quickly and you know effectively for me. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a pickup truck, or I should say, fortunately, you know, I don't really need one, which is good if I, you know, not to have one. I feel since it'd be a waste for me to have one. But you know, for this, I pr probably would have liked to have had somebody or known somebody that had one, so I could have gotten a, a larger quantity of material and not had those plastic bags. But this leaf grow is a compost material that's here in Maryland, and I think Virginia might have some. Uh, it's available at all the big box hardware stores, and it is essentially leaf compost. Uh, we have a couple counties in the area that collect all, the, all of their leaves, and that's what they do with it is they compost them and sell it to everyone. Now, here is Nature's Care miracle Grow organic soil. So I don't want just compost. You want a soil compost mixture, and uh, so I started adding that in as well. And I'm not sure I really had enough bags uh, after I really did this. I noticed it was a little short, but this is a good start. And then I can also throw some cocoa choir in here as well to kind of build it up a little bit more. I've got a whole ton of bricks that I can throw in when they go on sale at Walmart. I was buying them in bulk at one point. And that's another thing that I can add to the soil that will break down, but also be a good hold for moisture and help this uh, this garden plan go. So I've shown it a couple times, but uh, you know I plan to have a lot of fruits and vegetables in this with sunflowers in the back and lavender in the front. And you know that's that's my plan. But now here we go. I'm straightening out the dirt as trying to get all the boxes covered and everything. Uh, overall, this project really wasn't that bad. The hardest part was getting the materials. It took me longer than any of the, anything else. All right, as you can see, there is more distance than I like between the top of the soil and the top of the straw bales. Sorry about the laughing in the background and the 
but I've got some kids outside in the area. So, but as you can see, this is now filled with soil pretty well. You know, there's, as I said, there's a good gap, but that's okay. I might add a little bit more soil later. I probably will also grab a straw bale at some point and make this connection here to keep any rabbits out and finish adding some, a little bit more soil to the top. But most of it will go down here by the straw bales as a way to, you know, grow some more things a little closer to the surface. There's gonna be lavender planted in these right here, which I'm already started with seeds. And, you know, we're gonna have everything else in the center here. We'll see what we can really fit. I think that the, the design that I have, this might be a little bit smaller as I could only fit so many straw bales in my car. You know, my max was seven instead of I was hoping to get eight or nine. But uh, we'll go from there and see how it goes. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, let me know. And if you have any suggestions, let me know as well. I'm, I'm not the best gardener. And this is really the first time in a long time of starting up a garden. So suggestions are always welcome.